a rough way for USC to end the season, a 23-21 loss to Wisconsin in the Holiday Bowl. With the Los Angeles Times, I'm Lindsay Theory, joined by Bill Plaschke and Gary Klein. Gary, you predicted a USC win, but it certainly didn't go that way. No, did not go that way at all. Uh, Clay Helton was hoping for a fast start, but USC continued to play from behind. Uh, they came back, kind of a valiant effort. Looked like they might have a chance when Cody Kessler completed a touchdown pass to Darius Rogers, but they just didn't have enough. Bill, you said Clay Helton was the right man the right time. You still think that? Absolutely. Great hat, by the way. Absolutely. Clay Helton needs a full training camp. He needs a full spring football. He needs his own staff. Please give him time. This is the right guy for the job. He didn't do himself any favors today, though. The team came out. They got pushed around for a second consecutive week. Since Clay Helton has been named the permanent head coach, they're 0-2 with pretty bad losses to Stanford and now to Wisconsin in a game which they could have even won at the end but they couldn't stop Wisconsin when they had to, and they couldn't score when they had to. And Cody Kessler ends up, typical the whole game, throws the ball out of bounds on a fourth down play when he could have thrown it down the field. Very disillusioning, disappointing loss. Give Clay Helton a chance and stop talking about Chip Kelly. He's He wouldn't be a good fit here anyway, but still, it's really bad, I think, optics-wise, that a day, ago, a day ago, Chip Kelly gets fired from the Eagles, and everyone's saying, oh my goodness, you see, you should have waited for the Hayden to, for to hire him. They made the right call. Just be patient. Bill just spent a lot of time at talking about Chip Kelly, and we didn't even ask. All right, Gary, obviously Clay Hilton didn't have a full, full-time full staff with him tonight. How much right. do you think that affected the game? Well, I, I think USC looked like they were playing hard, but I, I don't think there's any question if you don't have a regular coaching staff in place. There's a lot of moving parts. Um, I agree with Bill. I mean, regardless of what you think about how this season went, I think you have to give him the opportunity to roll into next season with a full staff, with training camp, and then judge him, judge him accordingly. I mean, they start off with Alabama. Uh, this is not the kind of performance they wanted in terms of momentum going into the offseason, but they're going to have to regroup. It seems like a lot of folks don't even really care about the Holiday Bowl. They really are more concerned with that 2016 opener against Alabama. Bill, it's a long ways out still, but what do you think about that game? Well, I just think it'll be interesting to see what happens Alabama does in the postseason here, and they could be defending national champions. But USC has got a very young skill player that's coming back. I'm interested to see Max Brown as quarterback. I thought Kessler struggled a little bit tonight. He struggled throughout the season, frankly. I'd love to see Dory Jackson again. I want to see Ronald Jones II second again. I want to see a lot of these young guys. I think, they again, the future is bright. Of course, we said that standing here last year with Steve Sarkeesian. And we were still freezing then also. Okay, so Gary, final thoughts obviously on this USC season. Once picked to win the Pac-12 conference, obviously they win the Pac-12 South, then finish it with a loss in the Holiday Bowl. Lindsay, with as much drama, as much craziness that went on this season, going back to Salute Detroit, starting with Salute Detroit, that incident with Steve Sarkeesian set the tone for this season. Yeah. Uh, I think despite how it ended, and I wrote about it this week, the seniors that endured this, their careers here, especially this season, you got, you know, you got to give them, pat them on the back and say, good job, even though it didn't go the way, obviously, USC right. fans wanted. So I think you just got to, they, they are eager to put this behind them. All of us who cover it, <laughs> all the craziness, it's not ended, it'll keep going. I think everyone's looking forward to 2016, seeing what happens with, uh, with Clay Helton, now that he's the permanent head coach. That was an exhausting trip down memory lane all the way back exhausting. to August. Yes, but uh, again, Clay Hilton, the theme now is give him a chance to put his own input on a program. I think USC, fa USC fans will like what they see. They, again, it's a tough ending, but it's also a beginning. The USC finishes the season 8-6, and six, a loss in the Holiday Bowl, but they still remain Pac-12 South Division champs. One final time this season with Bill Plaschke and Gary Klein. I'm Lindsay Theory for the LA Times.